Local 56, WYAM, Decatur. This is Elephant's Swim. screen here. Uh, we have got a lot of people out there today. That, that lobby out there is full of people to come on the show. And uh, I'm glad you're with us so that you can enjoy all of them. Arthur Evans from Fertile Ground Ministries uh, brought with him John Bain and Jonathan Bain. And we're going to talk about Stop the Violence. And last year it went over really big and this year it's going to be even better. So we want you to know about that and you might be able to to go be part of that. Kelly Strain is here, and uh, she is with the Older Adult Ministries. We're going to talk about maybe foster care for older adults that don't have anybody to help them out, and uh, it sounds like a really good idea. Then I have Sandy Johnson and Derek Green with us, and they're going to talk about River City Youth Football, and we're going to find out uh, how your kid can get involved in River City Youth Football and what they're doing with it. Sandy you see Sandy here normally, but he's in a different capacity today. So you're gonna you're gonna see him all cash. He's all cash today. But uh, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be back in just a minute. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> We're back. Look at, look at, I have all kinds of guys here on this stage with me. I feel really lucky this morning. I have Arthur Evans with us, John and Jonathan Bain, and uh, you have Stop the Violent shirts on. I have one of those. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. And we will make sure we bring you another one this year. Will you? Okay, and, good. And next year also. Okay, good. You just keep doing this, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We're not going to stop. Okay, now stop. tell us... Um, Tell us a little bit, first about, you have a ministry. Yes, we do. And, and talk, let's talk a little bit about that. Our fertile ground ministries work with youth, high-risk youth here in the Decatur area, in Morgan County, in Limestone County, wherever we need it, that's where we go. And we also help uh, the senior citizen, women senior citizens that need help with one arising their homes and things of this nature. Oh, that's great. Now, how did yes. you get involved in that? Uh, it was strictly a calling from the Lord. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, we, I think he found me somewhere pushing the remote control, you know, saying, <laughs> need to be doing something else. Okay, now, so then you got involved last year was your first year, right? Last year was the first year, and we had such a great success. We want to continue each year and make it an annual. So we're now calling it the second annual Stop the Violence. And the second annual. Yes. The next year will be the third. Third annual. Yeah, okay. I get it now. Okay, now what is Stop the Violence? Stop the Violence, we want to give the young kids a message that there is another way other than violence. Mm -hmm. And 
to share with each other the problems that's going on with their lives. We try to show them that to make each other accountable to themselves, not just to us, but to themselves. And I think by doing this, that they can help each other more than we can help them. But we give them an outlet to do this. Okay. Now, were you involved in last year's? Yes. Top we, we were. We were there, and then we had a good time of uh, working with author and making some of the preparations and everything, and getting the. We have a small youth group in our church, but we we got all them involved as well. So. Okay. Now, Jonathan, did you? You went. You got involved. Was it fun? Very much fun. Very much fun. Now, um, let him hold that for just a minute because he's not talking too loud here. Okay, now where do you go to school? Danville. Danville. And, and did some kids from your school come? Mm, not that I know of. Not that you know of, but kids from your church? Mm-hmm. Okay, and what all did you do there? What, why was it so fun? Because there was a lot of loud music and pizza. <laughs> pizza and loud music. That's a good youth combination. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that always makes everybody really happy. So, um, now, how did you find out about Stop the Violence? I, I met uh, Arthur here at a local business, one of my deacons, uh, is a owner and founder of Decatur Engravers. I think he was down there getting some printing done, and, and we sure. found out that this was going on. And uh, it's, I, I guess we've all, not only as a pastor and a community leader, but as a parent, I've been concern about everything that happens in the schools. And right. we, it's kind of scary to it, send it your kids little, to school sometimes, isn't it's it? It's a war zone. So while the kids are out of school, I think it's a good time to make an impression on them and get them together and, and uh, some things that they enjoy, the music, the atmosphere, and uh, the good food. Is, uh, I believe they can live on pizza. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's, it's a good opportunity to kind of draw their attention to some things uh, while they're not in school and kind of get them prepared. So it's, mm-hmm. it's a good opportunity. Mm-hmm. And they had fun on top of that and got a message across at the same time. Yes, they did. While they were having fun. Did you get to talk to other kids and, and find out, you know, about problems in other schools? You didn't talk to anybody? <laughs> no? <laughs> well, do you have problems at your school? Not that I know of. But you hear about them at other schools and you know it's possible that it could happen at your school. Right? It's something that we always kind of think of. I, I know we still think it's something that's happened in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Or right. Happened um, out in Columbine. But uh, I know that it's still something that could happen here in our own community, too, any kind yes. of violence at school. So. And the best way to stop that is to get it before it starts and to start talking to the kids now. I think and, so. And finding out what their problems are. Did you talk to some kids at the school? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And that's what I want to say. It's not just the uh, violence with the guns, but we have verbal abuse, oh, yeah. and, and we have bullies in school, and uh, gangs and things like this that's not necessarily shooting, but it makes other kids not even want to attend school because right. they're not their favorite, and so we try to instill them that you don't have to be popular, you know, and I think that's a big pressure that they have today of being popular, being number one, mm-hmm. and so, but it's another way other than being just the the most popular kid on the block, you know. Right, and then, too, you have to realize that most of those kids that are the bullies, that are in gangs, they've got some underlying problems there. Yes, they do. And they need, sometimes they need somebody to talk to. They need they need love also. And so we just like to love on all of them and let them know, hey, it's another way other than violence, but we can just love each other and get along. Sit down at the table and find out another solution. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we always want them to stop doing things, but we need to also come together as adults and find another alternative to give them other than violence also. Mm-hmm. You know, we take one thing away, we must replace it with That's something right. good. That's right. You can't just take it all away and mm-hmm. expect them to function. Right. So, um, now, what's going to happen at this Stop Violence? Oh, this Stop the Violence, we will have Eddie James in Colorblind. And we will also have Edward James again this year. He owes one oh, from last year. That's right. And this year we took on a different type of flavor. Not only music, but we will have skits oh. geared toward the violence. And Emmanuel Church out of Athens will do a skit, Emmanuel Youth Outreach. Mm-hmm. And our Victory Christian Ship, uh, Christian out of Hillsborough, will also be doing a skit. So we have this a variety. This is something they put together themselves? Yes. And they're just going to perform it? At we just going to let them have their way. All right. Mm-hmm. Now, what, where is this going to happen? This will be at Austin High School, mm-hmm. August the 4th at 6.30 p.m. 
August the 4th, 6.30 p.m. And what we didn't say last year was, in case of rain, we will be inside. Okay, good. <laughs> so it's not, you don't have to wait another day. You'll just leave right. it all inside. Yes, we'll go inside. They have a big auditorium over there. Oh, it's have, nice. Austin has some nice facilities. The acoustics is just real good. Right. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's where they have um, the... Uh, all the Princess Theater things now, since the Princess oh, yes. is closed, they're doing it over there. So they do have a nice facility over there. So you need to go, for, what time does it start? 6.30. 6.30 on the 4th. 6.30 sharp. No admission. No admission. Free. Free. Pizza blast. And you said last year you put down some pizza. Slam down some pizza. Oh, slam. I'm sorry. Slam down some pizza. Excuse me, I don't you have know. the right lingo. Slam down Put some down pizza. and we slam oh, down Oh, okay. Some you did. You <laughs> ate a lot of pizza. <laughs> Did you have a lot of pizza there? <laughs> okay. Now, did you like the music last year? Yeah. It was really good, wasn't it? Amazing. Okay. And uh, this year it's going to be just as good? Oh, better. Better? Better. We strive on better. Okay. Each year we, we try to, we're going to try to learn from our mistakes from the prior year. So. Okay. We're really, Edward James and Colorblind, I'm sure you heard of those guys. Right. They have come out in some full support of this event and we just thank God for them and they are going to put on a fantastic show for the youth and uh, so much of their music is geared toward the things that they're actually going through in life now right. so it, they can it's relate. just a, yes better than I can yeah and, oh, well. and I, you know and I thought that that was that's good if you can do better than I can that's know? right that's right <laughs> well that I think um you know, a lot of the groups now, especially um, some of the groups like um, Third Day, th those groups like that, they are reaching the kids that need that need reaching. Um, if if you're not playing their music, they're not going to listen. Right. You know, so I mean, you can play their music, but the words are what's what's going to get them. That's the most important thing. So I think if you if you can draw them in, however you can get them in, that's the way you have to do it. And, uh, uh, and when I talk to my own son, he's he's 18 years old, I say, uh, what's going on with this? And he's like, well, if you ain't saying nothing, you know, we're not really listening. That's so right. it, it's, the power's in the words. Mm -hmm. It's just not the boom, 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 but right. they are actually listening to the words. The so. boom, boom, boom is what gets them in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you and got them in, then, you got, then they got the words. Then the words is what's so. got to keep them. So. All right. So let's tell everybody one more time, when, where, how. This will be the Stop the Violence concert at Austin High School, August the 4th at 6.30 p.m. P.m. In case of rain, we will go inside, but the event will be outside in the stadium. Okay. Until the neighbors put us out. <laughs> <laughs> what time did it end last year? We stopped about 10.30 last year. Wow. But we was on the inside, so we outside this year. So everybody live by Austin. Be patient with us just for a little while. <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, it's a, it's for a good cause, so yes. I'm sure they will. And I hope we'll praise band to be there also. Man, come out. Really? They bad. They are? These guys are tough. They're all right. Tough. Well, uh, on the 4th, 6.30 p.m. sharp. P.m. sharp. Austin High School. Yes. Be there. Be and there. Have a lot of fun. Eat a lot of pizza. A lot of pizza. All right. You going again? All right, well, we'll see you there. All right, we have to take a break, and we'll be back in just a minute. Don't go away.